Hello everyone, welcome to HP and Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create adjustable electrical circuit and circuit symbols just like this in Microsoft Word. These symbols and circuit diagram are completely created in Microsoft Word using shapes, lines and arcs. Using this drawing technique, you can change the size, rotate and adjust the location or position of symbols as per your requirements in Microsoft Word. So, to learn this advanced secret technique, watch this tutorial without skipping any part of this video till the end. Before I start, I would like you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for future tutorial notifications. And one more thing, you can download these symbols and circuit diagram from the link in the description below. Now let us start. First we will learn how to draw some difficult symbols in Microsoft Word. If you are using 2010 and later versions, I would recommend you to save your file in compatibility mode in order to get access to classic shape features. To do that, go to the file, click on save as, then select the location, then type your file name and in the save as type select word97 2003 document and then click on save button. Now you should see the word compatibility mode on the title bar. The next thing you want to do is turn on the grid lines by going to the view and clicking on grid lines. This would help you create symmetrical shapes by aligning the lines, arcs and shapes to the grid lines. Now let us see how to draw this resistor symbol. To do that go to the insert, click on shapes then click on freeform. Now, Start clicking on the grid lines just like this. So I'll start a point from here and then I'll click here and then click here. You can observe that the grid line, I mean the line is getting snapped to the grid lines automatically. So this is the advantage of the grid lines. So if anything goes wrong, you can always press the backspace. So come back and click at the correct position like this. Now press the enter key to end the command. Now if you closely observe, each and every spike is drawn inside 8 square grids. You can also use such references. Now the next step is to bend the line on both the sides. So how to bend this line? The procedure is very simple. What you will need to do is, you can just go to the format tab, I mean select the line that you created and go to the format tab and click on edit shape and then edit points. Now you can just right click on the line and click on add point. So this would add a point. Now you can just bend this easily and then make sure that the line is straight like this. Do it on the other side, right click, add point and then bend it. just like this now you will need to change the line thickness so i have set the line thickness to one and off points so you can just go to the shape outline and then wait and then choose the line thickness that you want now you can just click away now you can resize the uh, shape as per your choice so i have set it to uh, size of point 47 by 1.6 sorry I uh, let me check it is 1.16 so I'll make this 1.16 so you can set the size as per your requirement now let us see how to draw an inductor symbol so First thing, uh, you might continue using the grid lines or you can turn this off. I'll just turn this off. For this symbol, it is not necessary. So I'll just use the ellipse. Now draw the ellipse and then make duplicates by holding control and clicking and dragging. So you, you make sure that you are placing it closer by like this and then you can select all of them one by one by holding the shift key go to the format 
click on align and click on top so this will make sure that it's all top aligned now you can change the line thickness you can make it one and a half points and then you can just draw a straight line like this and then you can set the same line width then you can just send this to the uh, send this backward I mean send to back so it goes uh, back of all the shapes now you can use the arrow key and adjust the position how you want how much you want you can adjust that much then remaining we have to hide this portion we have to hide so what you can do is you can just take a rectangle draw a rectangle here so it should not be very big it should be big enough to just cover this area just like this so if you draw too big uh, rectangle then it might uh, you know uh, interfere in your design so now I'll just remove the outline by going to the shape no outline now you can just zoom this a little you can just zoom this a little and then move this newly created rectangle upwards like this by holding control and arrow keys use the control and arrow keys to nudge the i mean move the object slightly increment by increment now you can zoom this back then select all the shapes by going to the home tab and then select select objects you just draw a selection around all the shapes then go to the format and then group it together so this becomes one shape now let us see how to draw a toggle switch so first let me zoom in so I'll just insert a circle so if you want a perfect circle you need to hold down the shift key and drag the circle now I'll set a height of 0.19 centimeter so I'm using centimeter as the measurement so 0.19 and 0.19 now I'll just set the same line width see yeah, again and again if you don't want to go to this option you can just copy the line thickness from my existing shape you can select the existing shape go to the home choose format painter the keyboard shortcuts are Control shift c and Control shift v you can just take this and click on the uh, the new shape so now uh, we want a small projecting line here so you can just go to the insert take the line draw a small line possible then I'll use the same format painter uh, I think I can press Control shift V so it's already copied now I'll use the arrow key and uh, I'll just move this a little towards this side like this now the thing is you will need to send this behind that shape so go to the format and then click on send to back or else we can bring this to the front bring to front oh it's not filled I think I'll fill this with white color so now you can adjust this like this how much projection you want that much you can create keep then you can hold and se select both key uh, shapes like holding shift and clicking and then go to align and then align the middle don't align center now you can group this together group this so now we have one shape like this we can duplicate this by holding control and clicking and dragging now we can just go to the format flip this horizontal like this then you may use the arrow key for the gap I think this should be sufficient now we can align this I mean select both the shapes and then 
align this to the top then we may group this again now we need one line like this so I'll just insert another line just like this so while drawing the line hold the shift key now paste it I mean paste the uh, formatting by pressing ctrl shift and V we get the same formatting then you may rotate this slightly so I'll just go to the more rotation options here and then rotate it by 15 degree I think the opposite we can flip this no issues now we can place this here so place this where required I think it needs to be rotated a little bit Let me make this 330 yeah this will do now you can send this behind so you can just go to this option and click on send to back now you can select all these shapes together and then make a final group group it again so now this becomes one single object like this now let us see how to draw a npn photo transistor symbol so first we will start with the ellipse we'll draw an ellipse like this and then apply the line thickness then you can choose uh, this freeform tool just make three clicks like this one two and three so you make sure that you are holding the shift key while doing this and then press the enter key to end the command now again apply the same line width like this then see uh, one end we want the arrow so what you can do is you can change the arrow style you can go to the arrow and then change the arrow style like this you may adjust this a little by going to the edit points you can just move this a little like this and then you can just assemble this here you can use the arrow keys now you can create the other line by uh, you, you can you can also duplicate this if you want you can simply hold down the control and click and drag and then you know flip this horizontal then make this as a normal line go to the uh, arrows again and set this to the normal so this will become a normal one so we'll just drag this this time like this I think it ne slightly needs to be reduced um, so we'll just change this one this I'll just edit points edit it a little down I'll make now little I think this is enough now we can take a rectangle draw a smaller rectangle so you can set the size um, I'll make this one point one point one I think this okay and then fill this with the black color and paste this here I think you might also want to reduce the width and let me make this point four five and check this out no point five will be okay yeah so now we will just <coughs> select all of these shapes and align oh sorry first we will group this except the circle we have to select uh, this one this one and this one and then group it together 
and then later you can select this with this circle and then align to the center now you can create a straight line like this apply the same line width then place this here where required like this you may do the adjustments later no issues now we need two arrows pointing towards uh, this direction so I'll take this arrow and draw an arrow like this apply the same line width um, little bit bigger okay duplicate this one see you may use the arrow key for adjusting the you know position arrow position bring this both together and place it where required like this now you will need to select them all and then group it together I'll just go to the group and group now let us see how to create the bridge rectifier symbol so first we will start with a square <coughs> so you can hold down the shift key to create squares like this now I'll apply the line thickness then I'll draw a triangle <coughs> like this then rotate this by 90 degree so I think this direction and then we'll just create a line and uh, we'll make sure that both are of the same height so it's 0.4 and I'll uh, also make this as okay I think it's okay now we'll just bring this line towards this side select them both then align middle <coughs> now group this together apply the same line width now you can place this on the square now hold uh, the I mean shift key and select both then align center now make a duplicate copy of this one bring it down and we can select them all align center now we can make one more duplicate rotate this by 90 degree and then you can place it on this side so before placing we will just group them all together now we will place this here I have a reason for that um, now we will place this here now select all the three um, and then align cent middle now group them together now rotate this 45 degrees like this now we can create the projections so I'll just create a line like this bigger than this one let it be bigger than this one like this and duplicate this line itself by pressing ctrl D rotate this by 90 degree select them both go to the align center align middle then group it together now apply in the same line thickness now the thing is you will need to bring this both together select that shape group and this shape group align center align middle the thing is we will need to send this back so I'll select this plus sign I mean plus shape then go to the align sorry send to back so now this is created so far now we will need to uh, place these symbols so to place these symbols I recommend that you use word art so you can just go to the insert 
and then click on word art see I, since i have activated the compatibility mode i will get this kind of word art so if you have not activated you may not get this kind of word art so i'll just click on the word art now i need a plus sign i'll type the plus i'll choose arial font and click ok now the thing is you can just go to the text wrap and click on in front of text now we can fill this with a color and uh, hopefully you adjust the height of this i'll make both the height and width same and then remove the outline color say no outline now you can resize this holding the shift key you can just do the resize you can still resize let me check i'll make this 0 0.2 0 0.2 i think that should be okay and we will need one more over here i can just duplicate this word art itself and go to the format edit shape i can type minus and click ok so we can just you know reduce the height point zero five i think this is fine i'll place this here let me make this point zero four yeah now now you will need to duplicate the word art again and create these slide symbols so i'll just go to the format edit text type the slide click ok now adjust the height so i think point one should be okay and then move this here i mean bring this here let me click away and check so it needs to be a little smaller point zero seven yeah this is fine so we'll just duplicate this again to this side then you can group all these shapes together go going to the select objects select all of this and group this together So far, we have learned how to create some of the important electronic symbols. In a similar way, you can create other symbols too for your future projects. Once after creating the symbol library, now comes the important part. Now let us see how to create the electronic circuit itself. So first we shall begin by creating a new file. See, be, uh, please make a note that the symbol file should also be open. Now I'll just make a control and N to open a new file. Then I'll go to the view and click on view side by side. This will help us uh, uh, view both the files together. So here is a new file and here is your symbol library. Now you can simply drag and drop the symbol from this side to this side. So while dragging and dropping, make sure that you activate this file first and then select the symbol and hold down the control button and then drag don't simply drag it directly it will cut and paste okay now let us see how to place these symbols on a wired layout to create a wired layout you can use shapes such as the rectangle and the lines now say if i have to create a simple circuit i'll just create a rectangle apply the same line width and then i'll simply drag this symbol over the line just like this and place it over the line since this shape already has a white uh, background uh, i mean it is not transparent so yeah, the wire is not visible the wire behind is not visible now in case of certain shapes like this one this this might require you to create a background because now the wire is also visible so in this case what you can do is you can create a white background for this so how do we do that we can go to insert shapes take the rectangle check out what is the height and width of this shape so you can just go to the size and check out it is 0.47 and 1.16 centimeters so we will also set the same size 0.47 47 or little slightly bigger one 
so and 1.16 it was we will make this 18 or 19 and then you can just place it here uh, before placing it you can just apply the white fill and then remove the border and then send this behind so you will need to send this behind send to back now you can select them both and then you can uh, you know arrange it I mean align it to the center and align it to the middle now group them together now if you place this on this wired layout you will not see the line I mean the wire so the wire is hidden so you may rotate this symbol and place it on the other side as well so while rotating you can hold down the shift key or the control key like this so you will need to make a note that there are certain shapes which doesn't require a white background see like this one it doesn't require a white background but certain shapes like this one needs a white background otherwise the wire is visible I mean wire will be visible so that's why you will need to create a, a white rectangle place it behind the shape group them together and then place it on the wired layout okay this was a simple wired layout now let us try something a bit complicated I'll teach you more tips and tricks to create this circuit now let us start to create this circuit we will be needing three symbols so let me again view this side by side so I guess we'll be needing this OP amp symbol I'll just drag this here and then we'll be need a needing a resistor so I'll just take the resistor from here and then we'll be needing this capacitor so I'll bring this here so I'll just make this full screen so we got all the three symbols I'll simply drag this to the new page so now I'll need to resize this so in order to make this bigger I'll simply select this and then drag it drag the corner so now I think it's okay right so you may edit the size of these signs here so you can ungroup this and then reduce this if required I think it's another group I'll just ungroup again select this reduce the size let me make this 0.5 and 0.5 I guess this is okay and I can use the arrow key to move it where required this again I'll reduce the size and place this here and now we can start creating a line from here I'll go to the insert take the line now I'll just draw a line from here and then I'll just increase the line weight 
now we will keep this resistor here now you in case if you want to make a dot like this you can do it by selecting this line and going to the format shape outline and then you can go to the arrows and more arrows so I started this line from here that means this is the begin style and this is the end style so I will select this uh, dot style for the end side end of the line and I'll just click OK I'll need to you know make some corrections like that okay now we shall create a line from here every time if you hold the shift key it's good while dragging the line it will help you create straight lines now instead of going to this option and clicking i mean choosing this from here you can use the keyboard shortcut Control shift c and Control shift v now i'll just duplicate this one rotate this by 90 degree and place it over here you can use the arrow key and if you want more control over your uh, nudging you can use control and arrow key now we will need to create one more line from here so we can create one more line from here I think this is sufficient now I'll just select this line copy the format control shift C and select this line and control shift V so this line is created now we will need to change the end portion of the line to the dot style we'll go to the arrows more arrows and then end style we'll select this one and click ok so you have a dot here like this at the end of the line now we'll continue from here A smaller line is required and uh, I guess uh, this much is sufficient I'll simply press Control shift V and then we can create another line here and again I'll say Control shift V and we'll copy this and place this here so now you will need to change the end style of this one I'll go to the choose the begin style for this and we'll need to create one more line here and control shift V again now copy this and place it over here and now I think we need a line here at the bottom a little you know wider line I'll create a wider line later we might adjust it so this line needs to be more thicker so I'll choose a, I'll choose three points for this now we'll make some adjustment I'll just bring this down using the arrow key 
I'll choose the end style to the dot yes it's perfect and we will just simply you know adjust this line like this and now we will need to create a line from here and we'll need to create um, I'll create a line from here Control shift V now we'll need a L shaped line here so I'll take this free form just click a point here hold on the shift key and go up and click here press the enter key to end the command now I'll press the control shift V again if you want to make some adjustments you can do it by using the arrow keys and uh, in case if you want to make some modification to this L shape you can always use the edit points to modify the line now we'll need a dot here so i'll choose the end style to this dot okay now i'll place this one here i'll duplicate this bring this over here now let us create these lines I'll just create a straight line from here I guess it needs to cross this this wire so I'll create a straight line I'll hold the shift key now I'll press ctrl shift V since we have copied the format already now I'll send this behind uh, all the shapes sent to back now one more line like this now control shift V again and we need a line like this as well control shift V again now we'll need this capacitor placed here so i'll need to make some adjustments with this one so i'll may increase the size and i'll rotate it by 90 degrees and i'll need to remove this plus from here so ungroup just delete this plus and select one of these shapes and then go to the format and click on regroup so this will regroup now we will need to place this here now we can make one more copy place it over here now we need a line from here till here we need a line this needs this thickness so again i'll make this a three point line weight now there's one more thing you need to do you will need to change the color of this one to black so you may ungroup this or there is one more thing you can do you first click on this group to shape then click once again on a particular shape inside the group then change the fill so this changes the fill of that particular shape and now we will need to change the you know we will need to add the dots here I will click here one more click then let me apply this dot I think it's the begin style and for this 
I'll apply the end style. It's not applied, sorry. If in case it's not happening, you can ungroup it and click that particular line. Try that once again. Now the end style. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. That is this side. So format. begin style I guess this is also the begin style only so we have done with this one now we can continue uh, you know we can we can just uh, copy this uh, we can regroup this first regroup select one of the items and regroup then copy them both to the bottom see here I'll place that here I guess that's the place so if you want to make some adjustments I think we need some adjustments to be made we'll move this line up like this and reduce the size of this line like this it's done now what's left so we we need a line from here i mean we need two lines and one line here okay i'll start a line from here like that and control shift v and now i'll need to you know create a dotted line So I'll start a line from here I guess I'll apply the same line thickness I'll change this to the dotted line I mean sorry dashed line then I'll copy the same dashed line below here and then we'll need a circle here just create a circle bring that here control shift V again and we need this line to be extended till here and we need a line at the bottom like this so you may use the free form to create a line like that well, first click second click and a third click a control shift V again now we need an arc so i'll use the arc i'll hold on the shift key while drawing so you get only a quarter so you will you will need to use this yellow handle to you know increase the i mean create a half circle and then control shift v again I'll flip this horizontal 
you can zoom this and edit I guess this is fine Now we can bring this over here, reduce the size and place it over here. Now we will need to create this curvy line. So to create the curvy line, I'll choose the freeform tool. I'll make two clicks like this, press the enter key to end the command. Then I will go to the edit points and then right click on the point and choose corner point. And again for this as well, I'll choose corner point. Now make one click here and you could see the adjustable anchor here. Just drag it, drag it on the other side as well. So this helps you create a curve like this you can make adjustments so we have created the curve now we can just drag this over here place it on this line you can zoom this so I'll adjust the height as well like this now I'll press Ctrl Shift V, paste the same line thickness. I'll you know make one more copy like this. Now we will need to hide this portion. So to do that, you can you have different techniques. I'll use the rectangle. I'll just create a rectangle hole here like this and then no outline from here and make some slight adjustments using the arrow keys and increase the width maybe like that like that now you may duplicate that at the bottom as well and make some adjustments so I guess this is fine This is fine now next is we will need to create a box here I mean box like shape so I'll use the rectangle create a shape here and now control shift V to paste the format now I'll need to copy this symbol I'll just align middle use a line control shift V for that send it to back select all the three together align middle again and then group this okay now we have grouped it now I think I can place it here we need one over here and another over that side I'll increase the size so reduce this one okay this it's okay oh we need one more line over here let me increase the length of this and this line actually touches this line so we need to touch this line till here 
Control Shift V and the arrow yes arrow style to the dot style then you'll need to you know duplicate this flip this horizontally move it I think we'll need to move all three like this now to give a symmetrical look I'll first you know group these together format group and group and now I'll just select this and align center now I think there needs to be a line here we we'll create a line from here till here and control shift V again now we need to place the resistor like this I mean in a inclined position so I'll rotate this by 45 degree like that and you know we can edit the points bring this point over here and bring the other point over here now you can you know set dots for the begin and the end style of the line so I guess we have completed with the drawing I think this one was left so we will need to create a wire here so I can use this curve so you simply draw a curve like this and then you know you can make a slight adjustment if you want I'll choose the corner point right click to curved segment it's a curved segment now right click to corner point like this okay and now control shift V now let me change the line I mean end style to the dotted uh, arrow so I'll choose this oh sorry I think it's the begin style so we have almost completed now you will need to add the annotations that is the textual details so to do that you can use the text box simple text box drag it over here delete the default content and then you can change the text box style so in the format you have a small arrow over here so you can just click on that and then go to the text box and set zero for all the internal margins left right top bottom and then click ok so this is one thing the other thing what you would want to do is go to the home tab and just open the paragraph settings and then choose zero for the after and line spacing as single and click ok so now you can reduce this size of the 
text box as per your choice so i'll keep one here or you know uh, I, I can just say simply copy and paste wherever i want so i'll hold down the control button and then drag it wherever i want now you can possibly change the alignments so i'll make a right alignment and type what i want so i want three here then i can you know remove the outline i'll say no outline and also i'll say no fill then i can click on the border and use the arrow key to adjust the position of the annotation as required now i may you know duplicate this itself bring it down and then change the values like this so we'll need one more here we'll say in place this over here and one over here and we'll say 10m then click on the border and adjust the position so in this way you can add annotations so i'll just you know make a fast forward uh, of uh, of this task so just uh, keep a little patience Okay viewers, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you all in the next video with another awesome content just like this one. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.